There shall be showers of blessing. We thank you for the promise of God that you're going to send a, an awakening, a revival. And Lord, we're looking for it. We don't know how it's going to come or what it's going to be like, but we know that you said it and we believe it. So Lord, we pray. Send the showers, we pray. Revive our land. Dear Jesus, we need revival, uh, uh, not just in a city, not just in a county, but we need worldwide revival, Lord. So we pray, oh God, and lift up the world to thee tonight that you'd send revival. We pray, Heavenly Father, that some way that your presence could have preeminence on this earth, that the powers of darkness be driven back. Oh God, that the powers of hell be pushed back, that you might have uh, preeminence in your people's lives, Lord. We we pray for this hour tonight, Lord, that you would come, that you would lead and guide and direct. We're thankful for all the times you've led and anointed and helped and and uh, done did uh, wonderful things, Lord, but we need you again tonight. We need you fresh and new again tonight. So we pray, Lord, come, Lord Jesus, we pray, and help us in this time of worship tonight, and we'll give you the praise. We're thankful how you helped Pastor while he was uh, in White Harvest. Lord Jesus, we're indebted to Thee. We praise You. We give You glory and honor and thanksgiving that we're connected with this man of God. We're thankful, Jesus, for the reports we've heard, for uh, uh, the reports of victory and, and uh, anointing there. And we pray that You'll just help uh, that church tonight, Lord. We pray that they'll not lose what they received. We plead the blood over them and pray that the enemy of their souls not be able to rob them of the specifics that they received. And we'll give you the praise. Amen. Be seated. Thank you for this beautiful, wonderful <laughs> prayer. All right, Yvonne and to Melissa, come up and sing if you can. Amen. Together. I can try to sing it solo, but I don't guarantee it. <laughs> what did you say? This is the one that Lori and I yeah. sang together. Can you sing it solo? I can try. Oh, that's fine. That's all we do here. All I ever do is try. Oh, that's fine. We get the words. Uh, the main reason is the words, and the music is just kind of secondary. Yeah. Give 
lost it all and you haven't got a prayer Jesus will still be there Jesus will still be there His love will never change sure as a steady rain Jesus will still be there when no one else is true he'll still keep loving you when it looks like you've lost it all and you haven't got a prayer Jesus will got a prayer Jesus will still be there Amen. Don't leave away yet That's good you did very well I couldn't do that um, The words Give us the, the first verse, because I didn't get, you know, all the words. Some of us okay. didn't get them. Things change, plans fail. You look for love on a grander scale. Storms rise, hopes fade, and you place your bets on another day. In the chorus, when the going gets tough and the ride's too rough, and we're just not sure, um, Jesus will still be there. Well, that's good. Now, I'm just trying to absorb that first verse. Read it again. Plans fail. You look for love on a grander scale. Storms rise, hopes fade, and you place your bets on another day. Now I'll get to the second one. Time flies, hearts turn, a little bit wiser from lessons learned. But sometimes weakness wins, and you lose your foothold once again. Next one. And then this goes into the chorus. Okay. When the going gets tough, when the ride's okay. too rough. And um, his love will never change. Sure as sure a steady rain. Sure as a steady rain. There we are, back in the rain again, aren't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. It's, I, I thought we maybe just get it for the words. The music wasn't, you know, that important. But the, the words are very important. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now we are going to. Uh, have the men sing in just a minute. I just wanted to share with you that I appreciate your prayers for the meetings. Uh, you already had several reports, so the only thing left to report is that that I was I felt the undergirding of your prayers in these weekend meetings, and uh, these were some of the most difficult meetings I ever held in my lifetime, and uh, it was just one of those situations. I can't explain to you, but uh, the Lord helped, <clears throat> and one of the reasons for the meetings were to uh, revise the vision of uh, White Harvest for Reverend Helms' message and ministry, and of course one of the things we want to do is to, uh, to raise money. Well, <clears throat> in all the meetings I held of this kind before this White Harvest meeting, uh, I would preach two messages, and Rev. Reverend Richie would preach two messages. He'd raise the money, and I'd just give the theology. <laughs> and I said, Jesus, I cannot raise money. I'm not going to mention money. I'm not going to talk about it. All I can do is give the theology. And that's what I did. Never mentioned money. And so they just, uh, <laughs> they just took the faith pledge and, uh, uh, so far, it stands at $40,000, and there's still 20 strong families who are still praying about how much to give on, in addition to the 40000 So, uh, thank you for your prayers. <laughs> God did it all. God did it all. Number three for the mixed ensemble. Number three. 
Men, uh, the men's, please. The mix may be next, but the men. Right now, thank you. singing so beautifully glory to God now you can stay right down there Don and get your mixed ensemble number nine and then number eight after that please amen glory to God yeah I'm waiting we're all waiting thank you we have uh, three more men coming I think John is missing tonight is he he has to work tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't sung for a while. Jesus is coming to earth again. What if it were today? Coming in power. to claim his chosen bride, all the redeemed and purified, over his whole earth sat and won. if it were today? Glory, glory, joy to Shall the dead in Christ arise, caught up 
to meet him in the skies. When shall his glories meet our eyes? What if it were today? Glory, glory, joy to our hearts, our hearts will bring. Glory, glory, when we shall crown, shall crown. coming someday. Glory to God. The next one. <laughs> That's the best part of it. <laughs> That's when we all go on vacation. <laughs> A long vacation when it comes. <laughs> no more toil, no more sorrow, no more battles. No more trials, no more suffering. Stay right there, ladies. You're fine. <laughs> they don't need to see me. <laughs> Glory to God. And I see in most churches, um, I just just keep going. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, fine. And now I'm holding up the train here, but <laughs> I'm just putting in the word for you. Because I just went to the um, special manual, okay? It seems to be there are about 300 to 355 specials, special songs or ensembles, combinations that we have in this church. 300. You just heard one. 350 or 300, something like that. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. Now, in most churches, I know, in most churches, they will give the music director, <coughs> the minister of music, or the choir director, advance notice before church begins. True. You sing this and this, so you'll be ready. We don't do that. So this True. poor man here comes to church. He, didn't, he doesn't know which of the 300 or 350 numbers are going to be picked. I just want you to know what he's in, what kind of a place he's in. True. So this is why every time it just takes a little while to get things together. Okay, and uh, But... I, I'd like to give them the numbers ahead of time, if I could, but I don't know what they are. True. So I, I give them I give them numbers as soon as I know, and that normally is just about like that. And I'm glad you bear with it. Praise and God. I hope you can see that the Holy Spirit anoints our singers, True. because we're waiting on God for the right numbers to be sung. Now you can get started. Are you thankful for the things he has done? Are you thankful for the love he has shown you? A grateful heart will 
respond in praise unto the giver. And our God has given us his all. Are you thankful for the life he has given? For the strength that helps you feel each good morning. Each day we feel the goodness of his love and mercy. Oh, thank the Lord for he is good. Oh, thank the Lord for he did we say the world's not fair but God is good God is good glory to God I listened a little bit to um, some of the Holocaust stories this morning just before we left uh, Nashville out of Brown County and what was it last night seeing again all the sufferings and the boxcars I'm so familiar with and I thought, oh, the heartbreak, the heartache, the heartbreak in this world, the suffering. And then I thought, well, really, Jesus is the answer. True. Jesus is the answer. What can we do to alleviate all of this, to help in all of this? And it came to me again so clearly, we can give people Jesus. We can't prevent, we can't prevent man's inhumanity to man. True. We can't prevent that. We can't stop the bombs, the shooting, the murders, the rapes, and all the other things. We can't stop men and women from being broken, from uh, going into tears from losing our loved ones. Can't do that. Can't stop that. But we can give them Jesus. And when they receive Jesus, they can rise up. They can rise up and make something out of their lives that will last for an eternity. So, thank the Lord for He is good. I know he's been good to me. We're going to take the offering, and then we have the announcements after that, Pastor Jerry. By the way, I did talk to the, uh, got a call today from uh, uh, Spiegler, is that his name? He does his movie on the uh, Holocaust. Spielberg. Spielberg. I got a call today from one of their people. And I said, I don't want to be interviewed. I said, I just want to um, know if there are other people who are mongrels, okay, <laughs> that I can contact to see what they've gone through. I said, you know, we have a lot of background on what happened to the Jews, but there's never been a book written on what happened to those like us. Okay.
Okay. Huh? Or on the Christians under. Barely over 50% of people that died in the Holocaust were not Jewish. Yes, yes, sir. That's good to have that information. Nothing has been, nothing much has been done about that. Said about that. Of course, the Christians they were there for Jesus' sake. So, and uh, the lady, she said, "Oh, she says you're so right." She says we need to do something about it. So she's going to help me to find some information on that. Thank you. That uh, you're good. We're thankful you've been good to all of us here and good to this ministry. We're thankful for your provisions, and we pray now, Lord, for your uh, blessing and your help in this offering. We'll give you the praise. Amen. Enjoyed it. Say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. All right, pass it down. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome uh, Chris and Stephanie tonight, and also Mandy and Brittany. Uh -huh. Monroe, thankful you're here, and also Richard Sanchez, on the way from Phoenix, not Phoenix, Holbrook, Arizona, uh, leaving tomorrow. We have um, birthday and anniversary booklets are out on the table. Just outside the door, one per family, and if we run out, we'll make a few more. I want to say thank you to all of those that helped on Tuesday putting together the Shadrach Manual. If everything goes well, we will be sending those out tomorrow. Um, and, so, and we also did some other things, so we're thankful for your help. <clears throat> oh, on this birthday anniversary booklet, when you get it, please look at it and check the birthdays and anniversaries, we're not beyond failing, so we might have missed something. Um, I put out on the board, you're talking about uh, the Jews suffering in some other areas here. Out on the bulletin board is a map that the Voice of the Martyrs, uh, Richard Wormbrandt, uh, the organizations put together of the countries that are experiencing persecution today and what they call persecution. Uh, there's little or no persecution really in this country compared to what people are experiencing in these countries. Um, although things are happening here, it's, it's quite a difference. And it shows other countries in blue where there's been a release from this persecution. And so it kind of give you an idea, take a look at it and see how we need to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ around the world. There will be no Thursday service next week because then the following evening on Friday uh, we, through Sunday we will be having our uh, building fund campaign services. Uh, so please mark your calendar. No Thursday service, but we'll begin on Friday night. Uh, we will 
uh, establish the times on Sunday so that you know specifically when to be here. And I was talking to Pastor Tony today, and he is putting together kind of like a little museum area in their church that is reflective of uh, the Jewish people of Israel, uh, their history. And it could be that you've been to Israel a couple times, you've picked up things, and you have some extra things you wonder, well, I'd like to change my decor a little bit. Don't know what to do with these. Well, if you have some things that you would like to pass on to Pastor Tony, uh, please bring them and give them to me, and we will uh, take them down and we'll get them to him. Thank you. The children may go to their church next door now, and we're going to turn to a passage in the scripture that's going to be very difficult to read. Please read out loud, even though you may stumble many times. That's the only way you learn Greek. You try pronounce the words, and then you can try again, work again. But it's going to be fun reading it, Pastor Jerry. All right, tell them what it is. Surprise. Romans chapter 16, verses 1 through 20. We'll read responsibly. I expect you to read out loud because I'll be reading out loud by myself. You'll all be embarrassed together. <laughs> so let's stand, please. <laughs> Romans 16, 1 through 20. I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Sincrea. That ye receive her in the Lord, as become a saint, and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she hath need of you. For she hath been a sufferer of many, and of myself also. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my well-beloved Ephesus, who is the firstfruits of Achaia unto Christ. Greet Mary, who bestowed <laughs> much labor on us. Salute Andronicus and Junia, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners who were of note among the apostles who also were in Christ before me. Greet Amphilus, my beloved in the Lord. Salute Urbane and our helper in Christ and Statius, my beloved. Salute Apollos, approved in Christ. Salute them which are Aristobulus also. Salute Herodian, my kinsman, Greet them that be of the household of Narcissus, which are in the Lord. Salute Trimena and Tricosa, who labor in the Lord. Salute the beloved Persis, which labor much in the Lord. Salute Rufus, chosen in the Lord, and his mother and mine. Salute Philogus and Julia, Nerus and his sister, and Olympus, and all the saints which are with them. Salute one another with a holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto, the, unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. 